Block references are another of the features that have seen significant improvements in AutoCAD LT 2010. Dynamic blocks have been enhanced to support geometric and dimensional constraints. Although AutoCAD LT cannot create these constraints, it can use blocks that have already had constraints added. If you attempt to edit a dynamic block that contains parametric constraints, a warning message appears to let you know that constraints are present and asks if you want to continue. A new test block tool opens your dynamic block in a temporary window, enabling you to test your changes before applying them to the entire drawing. The test block window can be easily identified by its title bar. When you're finished testing, use the Close Test Block Window button to return to the block editor, where you can then choose to save or discard your changes. AutoCAD LT 2010 also makes it easier than ever to manage block definitions that contain attributes. The Enhanced Attribute Editor, previously available only in AutoCAD, is now also included in AutoCAD LT. You can use this tool to quickly change the properties of individual attributes in addition to entering values. Next, let's say I have a block with one attribute, but I need to add a second. After I exit the block editor, only the first attribute is visible when I attempt to enter a value. To see the second attribute, though, all I need to do is run the Synchronize Attributes command, which will update all instances of that block to reflect the new definition. This is an especially valuable tool because it doesn't affect the values of any existing attributes, so you can update your block without losing information that has already been entered.